Welcome all of you to this particular video. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about Amazon's A to Z guarantee claims. So in case you are a buyer purchasing goods from Amazon or in case you are a self ship seller, this particular video is for you. In this video, how as a buyer you need to file the claim and how as a seller you need to respond the claim, what are the situations and everything I'm going to talk about in this particular video. So stay till the end, get all the knowledge and implement this knowledge to your business or whenever you're buying goods from Amazon. So let's get started. So first, let's talk about what is A to Z guarantee claims. As the name goes, A to Z means Amazon, Amazon guarantee claims. It is only applicable in case of third party sellers. Now, what are third party sellers? As a, as a buyer, let's understand as a buyer and then let's understand as a seller. As a buyer, as a buyer, you receive whatever goods you order from Amazon. You can either receive directly from Amazon warehouse or from seller's warehouse directly delivered by Amazon or it may come to you directly from the seller's place using some third party courier. Maybe suppose you are living in a in an area where Amazon delivery is not possible, where Amazon's own delivery team cannot go. It could be a remote location, it could be farthest location, it could be some, some kind of an area. In that case, when you place an order to Amazon, Amazon passes this order to a seller who has his third party logistics, like he may have a tie up with whatever company is track on GTTC, or maybe he can use India Post services and ship the item to you. So this A to Z guarantee claims only and only as a buyer, only and only applicable for those kind of deliveries. It is not applicable for the cases which are directly getting reaching to you uh, from Amazon because that's a separate process altogether. In case you have any issues related to that, you can always connect with Amazon and get the things organized for yourself. Now, as a seller, if you are a self ship seller only and only if you are using third party logistics not using amazon service only then you will be receiving any kind of a to z guarantee claims request but there is a process to it's not that any customer can file it it's not that uh, any condition customer can file it no a to z claims is very very specific to primary two conditions to it one, if you as a buyer places an order and it is not reaching you on time, that's one part you can file up a claim. Secondly, if you have received a product which is not matching the expectation, not accurately described, not the condition of the product is not good, you have connected with the seller, uh, maybe you have returned the product also, but you are not getting your money back, then also you can approach Amazon with an A to Z claim. How to find this information? Let me just share with you. In case you are a, uh, simply a buyer at Amazon, I'll, I'll open, rather I'll give you a link. Let me just start sharing my screen so that I can even show you where you can find this. And, and this, yeah, so this is a complete snapshot of uh, A to Z guarantee claim, which is available on Amazon.in. What I will do is I'll place a direct link below this video so that you can, as a buyer, you can read this particular page. In case you are watching this outside India, I'll place the Amazon.com link also, same A to Z guarantee, same page, so you can refer to that. It is very clear conditions which are mentioned here and from here, from this page only, you can simply file up your claim also. Okay, so this is how where you can find this. Now the process of claim, etc. First of all, let's talk about the delivery timing. Whenever you as a buyer placing an order with a seller, there is a timeline which is given to you that this order will be shipped between X date to Y date and the delivery date should be A date to B date. There's a range of delivery which is given to you. So the, the higher range you have to pick up. Suppose you got a, got a date like between 4th to 10th, this order will get delayed. So there's no point raising a A to Z claim. You cannot raise a A to, a to Z claim before it reaches to the expired date, which is 10th. Even on 10th, you will not be able to file this as a buyer. Only after three days from the expected date of delivery, the last threshold like 10th, so plus three days to it, only after 13th, you will be in a position to file a A to Z claim to Amazon, mentioning that I have placed this particular order and I have not received the order on time, so I would like to take my refund back. Okay, so one is applicability of it that yes, you can you can file a claim once this particular delivery time threshold plus three days is over, you can yes file a claim. Secondly, if the condition of the product is not good, you need to connect with the seller. You need to uh, report to that particular seller that I've received this product. This is not up to the mark. 
seller will take action seller will help you in uh, you know getting the return getting the packet back from you dispatching it to you or maybe getting the packet back from you and returning the amount or you can simply raise a return request that will fulfill by amazon or probably coordinated with seller whatever way the product will be picked up from your place and uh, seller is going to initiate a refund now in case you don't get a refund you have refunded the product also but you have not got the refund in that case also you can file up a e to z claim now let's come to the other part of it as a seller as a seller if you are receiving any kind of self ship order your responsibility is to first ship it within the timeline which is mentioned here use the best possible courier service depending on the area the pin code in case it is a area pin code which is not covered by your all logistics partner then of course the second option remains uh, india post because india post covers every pin code so you need to take care of what kind of uh, logistic services you are using you are using speed post or registered parcel or air courier or surface courier whatever you are using it you need to just ensure that it is a standard delivery or an expedited delivery you take care of all these things and you ship the order so customer will wait till the last day plus 3 days and it's not that every customer is going to file that no but there's a option for the customer which opens after your expected delivery date plus 3 days option gets open to him even in case you receive a, a claim and claim will not directly come to you let me just make sure the claim is not going to directly come to you customer mandatorily has to connect with you first before a claim is filed there is a 48 hours window which is mandatory for a customer to follow that means if on the 13th day the order is not reached the customer has to connect with you first 48 hours you have to resolve this complaint you have to inform the customer about it if it does not happen now the customer is in a position to file the claim for a refund now amazon threshold is again 72 hours for this kind of a claim 72 hours amazon will wait for your action to happen on this particular case whatever is your status to it and amazon will take a call after 72 hours in case it is not delivered in certain order amazon is going to return that particular item uh, that particular price to the to the customer that's what's going to happen now you might say that my item is in transit and this and that that's definitely yes that is something that's a condition which uh, you you might be facing on so in that case what is your duty first you connect with the customer a price him of the situation and tell this much probably this much days or two days or three days four days time it might take because of some situations are happening some flood is happening or corona thing has happened there are hundreds of possibilities there that's all possible so most of the customers will understand you some customers will not understand you absolutely okay let the package reach to the customer then request the customer to return back the package to you in case even that is not happening then organize the proof of delivery organize the proof of delivery that uh, this particular uh, you know item has been shipped to the customer and then request amazon for settling out this case by reimbursing the money to you and citing the reasons why this particular order got delayed so it's a case to case uh, situation you cannot generalize the whole situation but as a buyer you are protected with a to z guarantee claim as a seller you have a timeline till the last date of delivery plus 3 days before any claim can be filed up and in case a customer has received a defective product a product which is might have broken a used product he will ask you to refund in 48 hours of time please take action in case you are in a for the mfn gold program amazon is going to pick up in case that particular pin code is not covered by amazon then the responsibility is to buyer to ship the item and you can reimburse the buyer so that he can send you back the item and once you get the item back please initiate a refund so this is all about a to z guarantee claims because many times uh, a lot of sellers uh, seek this query that what is a to z how to really uh, counter a to z or maybe how to appeal and also uh one more question for the sellers is even if the a to z claims gets passed in the in the favor of the customer you still have 30 days to counter this you still have 30 days to appeal against the decision taken by amazon it might be just a oversight decision the package has hit the next evening only now the customer is not returning you the package and everything and you have all the proofs and deliveries thing to it go ahead and appeal against the a to z claim that this a to z claim has 
simply impacted your business you have done the right thing but still it has impacted your business so kindly reimburse the payment and it's going to happen so you have got these windows with you customer has a window to uh, you know file this particular complaint based on either the timeline or the particular condition of the product only applicable for the self shipping sellers and customer will connect you first 48 hours you will have to respond to the customer then a claim will be filed and then 72 hours you will get to respond to the claim even if everything happens customer gets back the money you still have 30 days to fight this case for you with amazon so i hope you got a lot of information about a to z guarantee claims in this video as a buyer your exercise your right click the link below amazon.in amazon.com read about how to do it situations to it wherever it is applicable use it judiciously it is a it is a benefit it is a guarantee which is given by amazon to you so as a seller keep working keep progressing deliver the best goods to your customers so and even if you get any claim you still have an option to fight counter and respond to these claims so don't panic about if you get these kind of claims take it this is part of the business and just get going so thank you very much for watching this particular video in case you want to learn more about becoming a seller on amazon or you want to improve the health of your seller account my mentorship program is dedicated to you i do my weekly webinars you can just register and you'll find a link below this particular video there's a webinar i do every week live webinar where i teach how to really start selling on amazon and how to grow your amazon account learn that make use of my mentorship program and grow your business exponentially thank you very much we'll catch up in the next video